If you are close to performing a database upgrade, it is a good time for you to learn about the auto upgrade, which is not the only recommended way to go, but is the actual tool created by the database upgrade team at Oracle. As of 2021, the auto upgrade has five execution modes, 38 single parameters, and 15 internal customizable parameters that can be used and combined to cover most upgrade scenarios. Why so many? Because we have heard the feedback from you and we are always reinventing the tool to make it better, to make it faster, and to make it more flexible. We know that each database is subject to different conditions because each company has different policies. That's why we have added into the auto brief advanced SP file management, advanced network file support, advanced architectural change support. This is, you can use auto brief to change your database from non-CD to PDB. We have added support for a uh, faster restoration based on GRP. Uh, the auto brief also has full brief uh, support for rack on POSIX systems. And we work a lot to make it fully resumable. This is in case of something that happens and the process dies, you can continue from where it left without having to worry about what happened. Also, the auto braid supports operates in place. And also, it's very capable because you can customize what kind of fix ups for pre and post upgrade runs because you can enable or disable them from the configuration file. As well, you can run not only one, but multiple database operates using the same configuration file and the same uh, auto break instance process. One of the most interesting parts of the tool is that it has the fastest development cycle. And when I say the fastest development cycle, I mean, we work very, very, very fast making and hearing back and applying changes from the customers. Even though the auto break is a very powerful tool, you just need to learn three steps before you can start using it right away. Let's recall that the auto break is a multi-platform and multi-version tool. This is, you can use the same tool and the same version to perform an upgrade from different source versions towards different target versions. With the latest version of the auto break, you can perform upgrade from sources such as 11.204 until version 19. Once you have selected your source database, you just need to download the tool. This is, you just need to enter to the most node listed here. Download the latest version of the jar file, which is just a file of less than three megabytes. Create a sample configuration file, which is just a plain text file. And it should contain as minimum as these three lines of text. It will have a source home, target home, and the SID. Once you have defined these three parameters in the configuration file, you just need to trigger the deploy. And this is, you just need to run the Java minus jar, auto break the jar minus config, the path to your configuration file, followed by the deploy mode. After that, you will, you just need to wait a few minutes and you will have your database upgraded. And that's it. In the latest version of the tool, you can perform upgrades towards version 12, 201, 18, 19, 21, and any other feature release. The overall auto braid execution workflow can be depicted into three major areas. We have some tasks that run before the operate, we have the actual operate, and some tasks that run after the operate. In the area before the operate, we have some user-defined tasks. These are some tasks that, that can be configured in the user configuration file, and the auto rate will execute them before the, starting the actual operate. We also have some system checks. These are some checks that we run before the operate and that will ensure that the database and the operating system in general has the resources and has the conditions to have and to ensure that the upgrade will succeed. And finally, we have the database checks. These database checks will also ensure that the database is on a healthy state before performing the actual check on the, on the actual operate. Once these, these checks are finished, we will proceed to, per, to executing the actual operate. And after we have finished the operate, we will proceed to the after operate tasks in which we will find the after operate system tasks, such as copying network files, then we will proceed to the after-upgrade checks, like the time zone operate, 
taking stats and recomp recompiling objects. And finally, we will execute the user defined tasks. These are optional tasks that, that can be provided into the user configuration file and that the auto break will execute after everything has finished. One of the most complex part of the process is the work done before the operate. This is because we need to ensure that the database is in the proper state before the operate. That's why we have invested a lot of time creating something that we call the pre operate checks. These checks are small execution units that will help us to check a given specific condition on the database and will let us know if something needs to be changed. So we have four major groups for these kind of checks. In the first group, we have the components checks that will help us ensure that the components are on a proper condition, are valid, and or detect if they shouldn't be there, like the case of Enterprise Manager, which was removed, and let you know if this can be done before the operate to save time, to save time during the actual operate. Also, we have checks for detecting configurations that might affect the auto break of the break process itself, like detecting if, for example, you don't have the compatible parameter set and or, for instance, the auto login is not enabled for the wallet. We also have another set of checks which are related to the amount of space used uh, by some components or to detect if we will require some additional space during on our, or after the operate, like detecting the, the amount of free space on your table spaces for sys or sysouts, detecting if you have, for example, a temporary temple, table space without a temp file associated, and also another miscellaneous set of checks that will check if, for instance, you have a time zone version higher than the target version of the version that you are going to upgrade to. Currently, in the auto braid, we have over 115 before upgrade checks, 14 system checks, and 19 checks for after the operate, and 10 system checks for after the operate. The auto braid supports architectures for CDB and non CDB, plus also supports all the operating systems supported by Oracle, including all database editions, like standard edition and enterprise edition. Plus, it also works on single instance and rack databases. With the auto breathe, you can perform operates from all the supported versions, starting from 11.204 and newer versions, and you can upgrade to versions starting from 12.201 with a patch of 2019, and also towards versions 18.5 that already includes the patch of 2019 or 2.19.3 or newer versions.